So my brother's having a bad day. He's here from Afghanistan. He's here for three weeks, having some trouble. He wants to tell you about it. So all I want to do is buy a car. That's all that I ask from these people. And me, a veteran of Operation Enduring Freedom, cannot even get the necessary paperwork that I need to obtain my car. Because these assholes in Utah decide that they're going to mail my shit whenever they feel like it. Wait, what is your shit? Okay, so it's a, it's a, it's a confirmation of pay of the debt that I have to forward to the bank. He didn't pay somebody. And it was in collections. And you see what happens. Anyway, regardless. So, I have to send this confirmation of pay to the bank. Well, I first have to receive this confirmation of pay to send it to the bank. How long has it been? It's been eight days. Oh. So, I've been trying to call he these really assholes. really wants this car. Yeah, I've been trying to... Because my auto loan is depending on this piece of paper. So I try to call these assholes, and you get sent from one person to the next person to the next person to the next person, and finally you just get a message, which pretty much is telling you that they really don't give a shit. So I have no idea how this is going to work. They don't care. They just don't care. It's sad. Especially about me, of all people. You know? They should care, but they don't. The world revolves around my brother. Well, women revolve around my brother. Indubitably. That is, that is true. Indubitably. I actually have a date tomorrow night. And he wants this new car so he can pick up this exactly. hot chick in his hot car. Exactly. But unfortunately, hang on, let's show let's show them it's what you're actually gonna pick them it's up. Because I'm a narcissistic ass. Why is that a problem? Okay, so due to the fact that my brother does not have a car, he's having to borrow my car. Which was my car. Which used to be his BTW. car. BTW. But um it's pretty much a POS, as you can see here. Sexy 1994 Mazda Protégé mint condition. Mazda. Yeah. Anyway. Yes. Piece of junk. And it doesn't even run. I mean, right. I can still get the ladies just on pure skill, but this doesn't help me at all. <laughs> <laughs> So, my brother has been waiting for a week to get this piece of paper from his collection agency. So finally, he calls and starts yelling. And they said, well, there's an office in your city. You can just go down there and pick it up. So, we went Bunch down. assholes. Yeah. We got the paper picked up. And then Mark needed some other sort of paper for about his payment stuff. and uh, Or his pay from work in the military. Had trouble getting that. Mark doesn't plan ahead very well. No. It's not my strong So, suit. we got that. Now we're sitting at um, Ginko's. Waiting so to... Kinky. To be able to fax this paper off. And then, what are we going to do? Then, sir... Children, if you ever see this, don't ever dip. Um, then, we're going to go down to the tattoo place. Instead of an appointment. So we're getting the car first. Yeah, I, yeah, I guess. Well, how either way. They, how long did they open? I don't know. That's what I'm trying to figure out. Oh. Um, anyway, we're going to get your car. We're going to go get some tattoos. Indeed. I'm getting tatted. Let me figure that out right now. I'll definitely now. vlog that, too. Yeah, for sure. Can you turn it off? Yeah. Oh. So, this is the new car. If I can get the right perspective of it. All the way. That's the old car. That's the new old car. New car. So yeah. Um, let me see if I can, you know, see what I can see. And unlock it for you people. And uh, we hop on inside here. And uh, we have the steering wheel and uh, the radio. You see. It's a manual, because I'm awesome like that. Yeah, that's how I rock it. Um, has OnStar. OnStar. And, uh, yeah, you got a pretty luxurious back seat area. So, um, I am pretty stoked about this. So, yeah, that's Matt. The old car. <laughs> anyway, um, so that's all.